Meet Alexandra Dane of Seattle Roasted Cauliflower Penne. And this is going to be a healthy riff to mac and cheese. I am ready for this and one. And so fast excited. and efficient. Mm -hmm. We love and that. And we're having no fun here today. <laughs> Just so you know, nobody's laughing and nobody's eating well. So, yeah, this came about um, from working. I'm completing a manuscript. I get to 6 o'clock. I look up and I go, mm -hmm. oh, no, I have to eat. Right. And I am a huge fan of roasted anything, but vegetables especially. Wow. And this comes from somebody who has quite a bit of achievement in schooling. Some of the school. <laughs> just a little background of your school. Uh, well, let's see, Boston University. I have a teaching degree and um, a couple of honors that went along with that. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, and then I went on to to get my master's in uh, public administration here at Seattle University. Wow. Oh. And then a teacher? I've done some teaching. Um, I'm a hospice volunteer. I've uh, raised three wow. kids who are now grown up. Shout out from Rome to Boston, uh, Rome. Washington, D.C. What are we right doing now. here? It's <laughs> going to Rome. I know. Let me tell you the picture she's posting. <laughs> These are the kind but of viewers I know. that are here I cooking. Know. See, they're live streaming. Right they're they're uh, they're rooting me on from all around the world. Okay, we are too because and we want too. to see this. Okay, Go so for it. cauliflower, uh -huh. uh, roasted cauliflower is nothing like your former cauliflower you were raised uh -huh. with that your grandmother overcooked and was swishy. How did so, you know that? Because <laughs> we were all tortured with that, Mark. <laughs> that. So uh, the thing that's really great about this dish is you really don't have to spend two minutes on it. Now, mm -hmm. a lot of people, and I don't know if somebody today cored it very carefully. Mm -hmm. We're not coring. We're rough oh. chopping. Um, I'm going to take that. Yes, anyone who it. wants to, awesome. So okay. we get rid of the leaves because um, okay. they won't roast well. Right. And then when I say rough chop, chop, I'm not kidding. You are okay. just because this is a big, firm crudite vegetable, but in the oven at 400, it gets all soft and nutty and. Yum. Lovely and delicious. So that's what we're doing. So core stays in. In fact, I like it really um, for the texture contrast mm -hmm. with the penne. I like the animated delivery you have as a teacher here. You got me hooked. <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting for the criticism, the text. Uh, Mom, no. you waved your hands too much. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, so Bridget, going here? it goes on here, and then you just literally, I also put my hands in my cooking. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, it's going in the oven. I'm, I'm a big believer in... Can you just hand me that olive oil? Olive Thank oil. you. So I, okay, I, I that like, was my next question. I like bit of... to do what I call glugging my olive oil. Okay. And then I said, please have a. Uh, so you just toss it with a little bit of olive that's oil. It. Do you season it at all or no? You know, okay, I don't season it all with salt because I feel like everything has enough. It was okay. also a little health warning from my. Esteemed physician, the dog. Sure. and um, so I kind of let it speak for itself. What is that? Pepper? It's a little pepper. Oh, okay. Pepper. That's what fabulous. We're doing. Okay, so we're going to do other things for, for flavor. Your hands oh, there. Thank you. Not just <laughs> like okay. we do at home. So that goes so in the oven. We're going to roast. In so what I I call this very efficient because mm -hmm. you're roasting. Um, you've got your pasta water on. Mm -hmm. uh, you're putting your pasta in. That's this. all kind of bubbling and. Making okay. all those good smells happen. It's all working. Um, and then I will make seasoning. Not I don't okay. even call it a sauce. Mm. So Magic that's, of TV. Da da. Um, so that is roasted cauliflower, melty oh, and soft wow. and yummy. And I confess, some nights that's all I eat. <laughs> uh, you know, I eat it like that. Yeah. Just like that. It's delicious. So Absolutely why did Grandma delicious. make it that way? You know. Well, Grandma. Watch out. Grandma also put like salt, 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 salt. Yeah. Right. So, um, also, mm. I have three kids uh, that had a lot of, you know, I don't want green flecks in it. All I want is pasta. Oh, you then have they one grew of those up. too. No, now they're all big and they still have these, but we, we use gluten free pasta and kind of cover all the bases. And I really like the, um, the rice flour pasta in this dish because some of them don't hold up. To God. being boiled okay. a lot. All right. So this so is a rice flour. This is pasta? a rice flour bio nature's wow, and uh, it's beautiful. It's Twelve ounces, I believe, which uh -huh. I think is good for two people, um, with a little leftover for lunch the next day. Right. Mm -hmm. When you're meeting a deadline, mm -hmm. and you have to microwave. Yes, there's it's my. It's beautiful. The shape is them. awesome. A lot of the. It holds up. Mm -hmm. It holds up, and little olive oil on it, and um, you know, honestly, if you like to roast, you can put anything you want in here. 
Okay, so what next? Oh, what do we do next? Now we're making the seasonings. Um, so my favorite tool ever, but it's uh, true. But I also asked if you were going to have band aids because I have been known to zest my knuckles off. Ouch! Well, just so don't I let will me try do that. not. So <laughs> zesting it. my um, lemon, obviously you want to get just the yellow off of it. Mm -hmm. Don't not go down white. to the white pith, right. which is you you know better than me. It's bitter and it's Strong. not as flavorful. But I think it's kind of what makes this interesting yeah. because it doesn't have meat. It's it, it gives it that. No, Zippy just, lemonness. I love it. I just je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi with the chauffeur. <laughs> Are you one of the uh, these houses that you walk in and everything's just simmering all the time and just Alexander is like? Oh, so it's I like have a to tell you, when yeah. I have a really, when I have like five chapters due at the end of the week, sort mm -hmm. of deadline, I spend the whole day writing and making ratatouille. Wow. Because well, to me, idea. it's like left brain, right brain, right. Mm -hmm. and then it smells so good. Yeah. Um, also, in this dish. You also, everything that goes in it is already cooked. Oh, so so you good. don't have to put it in the oven for very long. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you don't like really um, lively garlic, then don't use it. Okay. Because okay. it doesn't actually cook all the way through. Oh, but it's good for you a little bit raw. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. we've done the lemon zest. Okay. Now we're going to do. Lively raw garlic, because <laughs> I like it lively. So if you don't want raw garlic, could we toast it a little bit and you add could, it? You could throw it on the cookie sheet. Oh, that's um, a good idea. I've actually peeled it and put the whole cloves in with to my pasta. To flavor the dish, perfect. Um, and then Delicious. it's mild. So perfect. I also, in this dish, put some um, red pepper flakes for a little oh. warmth. Perfect. Hey. Kind of a Sicilian now dish. You're food a little there. something. Yeah. And then we need to chop these. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, we've got pasta here that's ready I'm, to go. Can I put that right there? Yeah. Okay. So this is like the the mm -hmm. you know more garlicky oniony flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just Beautiful. up to the green, just so it just is a little. Just this a touch. The, this is the riff Bridget of mac and cheese, as she was saying. This is the riff on mac very, and cheese. Yeah. Very well, elegant. You know, also in the Pacific Northwest, I have discovered, everybody has little dietary things. Right. No. So the thing about Darn this it. is you start with a basic pasta, mm -hmm. and you can put in roasted Whatever. Brussels sprouts, roasted cob, whatever's in the bottom of your vegetable bin. I've roasted oh. green beans So you before. could use leftover vegetables from the night before. Got it. Like copy some that. Of, yeah, copy, copy that. Copy that. So this is my my efficient dish. So that goes in there. Okay. And then let's see. Now we're going to put the pasta in. Okay. So hot, freshly boiled. I pulled hot, it so it wouldn't. Freshly boiled. I need my olive oil back. Back your olive oil. Yeah. Check. Okay. I'm an olive oil glugger, not a butter. That extra credit for me too. Butter <laughs> wad. Okay, and then when does the cauliflower we come in? We throw that in right now. Here's, okay. here's the efficient part of this. Okay, it's hot, watch out. Asbestos fingers. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I have about, it's probably eight ounces of mozzarella. Wow. Um, out of a bag. Okay. You know, you can, you can put more or less in. Okay. But we're trying to give it a mac and cheese kind of feeling. Right. So uh, okay. we're going to just toss, toss, toss. So it's kind of, uh, the Italians call it the pasta al forno, where they mix the cheese and the yeah, yeah. toss it all together. And I, sort of a joke, those that know me, I love everything in a bowl. So oh. I mix it in a bowl, I put it in a bowl, I eat it in a bowl. I am hooked. <laughs> I just can't take my eyes and, and off And Mark, true confessions, oh I've gosh. eaten it with a spoon. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So then it goes into a baking dish. Yep. More glugging. More or... how'd you know? <laughs> hey, glug oh. me. <laughs> okay. You bet. Perfect. I'm on you. I'm okay. there, Teach. Going for that All extra right. credit point there here. There you go. Okay, oh my gosh, you're such a good listener. <laughs> and okay. then I'm going to put this in as we, you might turn it the other way, maybe, and then I won't really make a huge mess of it. Okay. And then the magic of TV. I have one here, and we're going to garnish okay, this. Okay, one more garnish is Got garnish. in the freezer. Here's my little hot tip of the day. In the freezer, I keep a bag, a very unattractive bag, plastic bag, and I put works. all the heels of my bread Super in it. Super cool. Super cool. And then the camera people promised they wouldn't focus on my upper arm when I do this, because it will jiggle. But I make a oh, little wow. bit That's of... That's beautiful. Just a little bit. It's literally you snow. You put it like snow. Uh -huh. And then yeah. if people don't like to eat a lot of bread, it doesn't make it bready. Oh, interesting. But it makes it crispy. 
Is there a term? What do we call this? Uh, You're so good at terms. Gratujato. Gratujata. Huh. Thank right? you. Right in Italian. Thank you. So mm -hmm. you, gratujata. you can do loads or little. And then cheese and in the oven. Cheese and in the oven. Thank you. Mark, grab a fork. Because I have the beauty. Come on, man. I think we have a new teacher taking over the class I know, over here. I'm so bossy. Oh, I'm supposed here we to go. Look at this. Off. That's good, though. There you so go. Beautiful. But you're right. Spoon or fork. It goes in the oven. Is that, just, is that hot? It might be. It's a little bit hot. I know, but look at that. I don't want to ruin it. It's, just, it's so good. Here we go. Okay. It's all in the ramekin. Yeah. Yeah, see, there's nice. your crispy so crust. So delicious. It's delicious. Be sure to get Buy some the cauliflower. Book. I got it. I got it. It's awesome. there. You got it. Thank if you get the cookbook. Thank you so much. Thank you for Great. having me. Nice. We'll Thank place that time. over there and have a look at that. I will. Good. They got to okay. look at that over there. Unbelievable. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Call now. Mm. Oh, I got some of the cauliflower. That's what you want.